Hello editors, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll learn how to color grade a photo in Oppenheimer style. Let's take a look at the color palette. Muted greens, khaki, beige, and bronze. I'll apply this to my photo. It's a mix of urban and industrial look. If you are a fan of the movie, feel free to follow along. By the end of the tutorial, you will be able to save the preset and apply it to your photos. We are now in Adobe Lightroom. First of all, adjust the exposure. Let's decrease the highlights to reveal the details of the sky. Unfortunately, there's a loss of data. Always keep in mind to shoot in RAW. Moving on to the tone curves. This is where we create the look. What I usually do is add control points to midtones, highlights, and shadows. I use them as anchor points. Here's a tip for creating a matte tone. Bring up the end of the curve, which controls the blacks. By doing this, you can make changes without impacting the shadows. We can also dip the whites a little to make the patch in the sky less prominent. We are doing the majority of color grading in RGB channels. Starting with the blue channel, Let's add some blue to the sky. For the shadows, we will add yellow, cyan, and magenta. By bringing the curves down, they will mix together and match our color palette. This will also darken the shadows. We don't need to see too much details on the street, as the main focal point is in the middle. Right now, it's kind of gloomy. We can add yellow and orange in the mid-tones to achieve that beige and khaki color. Let's do it in the color grading panel. Now the dot inside the pie controls the saturation. The one outside controls the hue. Another tip for you, if we decrease the saturation to zero, it doesn't matter how we change the hue, it has no impact on the image. If you prefer to use sliders, you can click here to enlarge them. I will increase the blending value for a smooth transition between the midtones and highlights. Here's our adjustment using the color grading tool. If we turn off the tone curves, it still looks pretty cool. It looks a little bit vintage. Lastly, go to the effects panel and increase the clarity. This will sharpen the structure of the building. To recap, we have adjusted the contrast so that we have a distinctive focal point. The shadows were given red and purple tint to match the color scheme. We also add a matte finish, warm colors in the midtones, and sharpen the details of the building. This is how we color grade in Oppenheimer style using Lightroom. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you do, please hit the thumbs up. Appreciate it. See you in the next one.